evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Moahib. So the video is finally here. I am going to be testing out the A05 Superior Coconut Soy from London Luxury Supply. I have tested all the waxes out apart from the beeswax because it didn't come with the starter pack. If you guys are interested in me testing that wax out, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Let me just explain how this video is going to run. In the middle of this video, I am going to be doing a voiceover. At the end of the video, I am going to come back share with you guys the results of my candle share with you guys the details of the wax and also my experience working with the wax so with that being said please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post so with that being said let's just get straight into it all right guys so let's test out the a05 superior coconut soy shall we this is how it looks like it comes in flavor form and it's actually pretty creamy like, as you can see it breaks in my hand quite easily and it also melts in my hands quite easily as well i am going to be doing two candles today one on camera and one off camera i'm going to go ahead and measure 200 grams of wax for my 30 centiliter candle container by the way i am using two different fragrance oils that is the reason why i'm not measuring 400 grams of wax for both of my 30 centiliter candle container i'm going to be measuring out the other 200 grams in the pouring picture that you see right there and uh, right now i'm going to go ahead and measure my fragrance oil which is cucumber and melon one of my favorite fragrance oils from cozy hour it smells delicious i am using a 10 percent fragrance load which means i am going to be measuring 20 grams of fragrance oil so right here this is the details of the candle that i'm going to be making today and i'm going to show you the other one in a little bit my wax has completely melted and i'm at 68 degrees i am going to wait until 65 degrees in order to pour my fragrance oil in give that a good mix for two minutes and then pour it straight into my candle container i am going to be doing in the second candle i'm just going to show you guys when i pour it i'm not really going to go into the details that would be at the end of the video so make sure that you stay until the end so here i am my favorite part is me pouring the candle and guys i know you can see the corner of my face i literally didn't even realize that the camera caught the corner of my face so i do apologize about that first candle is completely ready and i cannot wait to actually burn it and test it out i'm super excited and this is me pouring my second candle at 55 degrees so i poured my first candle at 65 degrees and this one at 55 degrees with an eight percent fragrance load i can't wait for you guys to see my candle results in the next clip coming up right now all right guys i am back i hope you guys enjoyed the little clip of me testing out the wax as you guys saw from the clip that i made two candles one on camera and one off camera let me start off with the one that i made on camera with you guys so this candle is a 30 centiliter candle container with a 10 percent fragrance load the wick series that i used is eco a and i poured it at 65 degrees the fragrance oil that i used for that one is cucumber melon from cozy owl and i swear you cannot go wrong with the cucumber melon from cozy owl it has an amazing cold throw and even better hot throw like i love it let me get straight into rating the cold throw for you guys the cold throw is actually a 10 out of 10 like the cold throw is amazing moving on to the next candle that i put at a different temperature and also less fragrance load so this candle right here i poured which is a 30 centiliter candle container the same and it's an eight percent fragrance load the wick series that i used is eco 10 and i poured it at 55 degrees so let's give it a whiff it's apple oh by the way I, I forgot to say the fragrance oil that i used for this one is apple cinnamon let me rate the cold throw of it the cold throw of the second candle is an eight it's not as strong as a cucumber melon maybe because i have less fragrance load here and obviously more fragrance load in the other one that could be a reason i definitely don't think that any of my fragrances were burnt off if that was the case then i wouldn't have smelt much at the 65 degree mark so the reason why i actually poured at two different temperatures and two different fragrance load is because i actually want to test out the candle and see how it performs or if there's a difference in performing at different fragrance load and different temperatures so now that i spoke to you about the candles now let me move on and show you guys the results i'm gonna come up on camera right now look at that top look at these sides guys no pillowways can you see pillowways i can't see pillowways i didn't even heat up the jars so that was amazing and this is the next candle again guys beautiful smooth creamy top and beautiful sides so now that you guys saw the results of the candles let's get into the details of the a05 superior coconut soy wax so the melt point of a05 is at 47.5 degrees celsius the congealing point is at 43 degrees celsius the suggested heating range is between 65 to 75 degrees celsius suggested pouring range is between 45 
45 to 65 degrees Celsius. Suggested max fragrance load is between 8 to 10 percent. It's a 100 percent natural wax and the details of the wax is it has a fantastic hot throw and cold scent throw. A softer wax ideal for high and candle adhesion. Amazing clean burn aided by coconut oil. Smooth top spree burn. Post burn smoothness is fragrance dependent and it's suggested usages is ideal for container candles suitable for melt some tasks and it does work well with color so i'm very glad that i actually poured both of these candles at different uh pour temperatures and different fragrance load is because i really want to see if i can get that a smooth post burn top if you guys want me to burn test the a05 for you guys i'll be more than happy to do that for you pop it in the comment section down below if you guys are interested i'll be more than happy to film that video for you guys so now i spoke to you guys about the results of the candle i spoke to you about the characteristics of the candles right now let me share a bit of my experience working with the wax the wax was actually super easy to work with it was not hard at all it was so easy for me to clean all my equipment i was so happy with the wax that i actually purchased more of it because i want to do more testing on it and speaking of more testing i actually want to do a part two for this video i want to do an essential oil candles with a05 and i want this video to solely just focus on essential oils so i can get into as much detail as i can normally when i do uh, essential oil candles with you guys on video i don't go into details so my next video is actually going to be using the a05 with essential oils and i'm super super excited for that video i'm so glad that i ordered more because i wanted to do a separate video for essential oils for this wax so i'm super happy that i ordered more so yeah guys in terms of me purchasing the wax again yes i would purchase the wax again i did purchase it already literally as soon as i tested out i'm like yes i'm happy with it i need more recently i really want to focus on my candle post burn i've been really good with getting a smooth top a beautiful smooth creamy top just the way i like it the few problems that i've been having is obviously pull aways the two waxes that didn't pull away on me was actually the s100 and the a05 i've made the a05 wax about two days ago and the wax hadn't pulled away regardless of change of temperature it's amazing and the s100 didn't pull away regardless if i moved it from one room to another so that is one of the things why i actually repurchased both of the waxes to do further testing on them before i forget all the wax information that i share with you guys is actually from a book that i picked up from london luxury supply if you guys are interested in the book i'll leave a link in the description down below what i've realized is there's a slight difference between the suggested pouring range that they mention in the book and on the website so for example for the a05 the suggested pouring range i said is between 45 to 65 degrees but the one on the website it mentioned that it's between 45 to 70 degrees so i just thought i'd make that clear for you guys just in case any of you do go over on the website and pick up the wax and you see a slight difference between the temperature that i mentioned in the video compared to the temperature that they, that they suggest on their website also for the s16 s100 a27 and m12 wax if there is a difference in the uh, pour and range uh, temperature i am going to pop all the updated ones in the description down below just in case any of you guys are wondering if the slight difference with the other waxes then i'll make it clear in the description down below just so you guys are up to date in that sense uh, but yeah it's the difference between the book and the website is not a huge difference i just thought i'd be transparent with you guys just in case you guys are wondering why am i saying something different to the website i read off all the information from the book i don't read it out from the website in terms of the characteristics uh, of the wax they're all they're all pretty much the same and there's obviously more information on the website than the one that i read from the book before i end this video i just want to say if you have any questions like the usual please pop them in the comment section down below and i'm always more than happy to help and again in terms of the updated pouring range for all the waxes that i've tested out on my channel is going to be in the description box down below for this video so make sure you guys check it out just in case you want to test all the london luxury supply waxes that i tested out on my channel any of the updates they'll be in the description down below with that being said please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post so with that being said have a lovely wednesday evening a great week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys